at low hover. Welcome to Kirby Streamland. Welcome to Extra Mode, also known as the real Kirby Streamland. So, uh, yes, Game Boy Classics. Let's go. Everybody knows this game. At least they should. This was Kirby's first game. And yeah, there are no weapons. You can just eat things and you can spit things. Those are your options. Although I kind of miss the mint leaf in newer games, I'm not gonna lie. So, the most terrifying part of extra mode is the part where everything does two, almost everything, does two points of damage instead of one. Which just makes trying to do anything terrifying. That enemy always has two points of damage. So we've got the climb here. What do we have? Five stages, normal number of lives, and a please don't get hit by Gordo's son. This was before Kirby's Adventure. Uh, Kirby's Adventure was like one of the last games released on the NES. And it was after that, I guess, they said, wouldn't it be cool if Kirby could use that beam attack that we saw everybody use? Game, please. Fighting my controller sometimes it feels like. So in extra mode, you get a lot of Gordos to go along with uh, your apples, so we just sit here and wait a lot. So uh, that was not as good as it could have been because I missed a shot. It felt pretty good though. Watch out! Extra mode really likes to troll you just a whole lot. So even more than like the normal mode of this game, it's I hope you know what you're doing. And I didn't go to the side fast enough. So like in the normal mode, this guy shoots blocks and he's done. In this mode, it's uh oh by the way, here's a Gordo that's gonna do three points of damage. So you see me playing this a lot safer than I'd like to. Got him. So uh, you have two options here. When you're actually good at the game, you can go up into the top door, get the curry, and use that to uh, try and get a quicker kill on the boss of this stage. But uh, I wanted the health for obvious reasons. Hopefully that changes over time. Because I've been able to do a little bit of curry killing on normal mode. Ah! They also move faster on extra mode. It's a little bit of, you know, I have the health, I can face tank them. Doesn't hurt, except for the part where it hurts. But uh, timing wise, it's fine. There we go. The long screens are the scary ones. Just in general and in extra mode, even more. Get out of the water, Kirby. Get out of the water. That was... That was ugly. Emergency spit. Preferably you don't ever use the microphone, but it's really useful if you are in a bind. That coconut switches sides from the normal mode, because of course it does. Got one more long-ish long screen coming up here, which itself also uh, precedes a boss that is going to do a lot of damage. Got the lag boost here. All 
Alright, we got five hit points through all that. The hardest part of doing that without the curry is that first part where there's two squids coming at you horizontally on the screen. Alright. I really need to look up what this boss's name is, because I know it's not Kablooey. It's like Kaboozle or something. Like all good bosses in a shmup, you uh, want to be directly in front of it to hit it as fast as possible, which puts you in the most peril. Also, it's possible when that screen moves down for uh, for you to basically be crushed by the screen, which is hilarious when it happens in that you are very sad. Do a little bit of a safety there because this screen is fun. Attack of the Killer Umbrellas here. And the tracking on... What are those guys' names? Burt's? Or the uh, original one's Burt's. Either way, their tracking is terrifying. Ow. Yeah, because everything does two points of damage. This is terrifying. Not everything does two points of damage. I'm sure there's somebody out there watching this saying, Cad, yeah, that's not true. Alright, we could have gone to the left. Gotten the one up. I'm just going to take care of Krako here. Get in this tight window to get this hit so I don't have to wait for him to come around the bottom of the screen again. Save like one or two seconds. Yay. We're in the background! It does nothing. It just looks really cool bottom health route, which is slower, but gives me that health that, uh, well, yeah. This is extra mode. We've been going over this. Going in the background really doesn't do anything. Uh, you have to eat that mint leaf at the right time. And we gotta be a little careful here, because on extra mode, those stars will actually hurt you. In normal mode, they're just decorative. Oh, wow. Alright. Krako in uh, extra mode has the benefit of attacking really fast. And if you're the TAS, or if you're E-Bloody Candy, who I believe goes by Belted Gaming these days, uh, you can get double hits in here. There's plenty of other people who are actually good at this game, too, who uh, know much more about how to actually get that double hit with a lot of consistency, because it's just really cool. Obviously, anytime you can, you know, reduce the number of cycles in a boss fight, good thing. Because right now, we're, we're just sitting here waiting for him to drop bombs. We're at Krakow's mercy for how long this fight goes. Because sometimes this happens, and you're just stuck forever. Game. 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 Apparently, if I say game, it works. Game. Game! I'm just going to say game every time now. Call me on that when I get there for the refight. So now we have the privilege of fighting all four bosses all over again. Uh, we go to Lolo and La 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 first because you spawn closest to them. Just gonna open this up with an immediate point, two points of damage, which is awesome. I've never seen that before. Uh, there's supposed to be a Gordo that will like just insta kill you in the door. 
and it was not there. I'm assuming because of a sprite limit of some sort. Um, my in plan right now is completely to, uh, let's see, let, let me see if I can do Krakow. This is my eventual plan here. If you, uh, get killed at any point in this, you have to re redo the whole section you were in. Uh, and I have to fight that blimp again that I know is going to do a ton of damage. So, uh, my intention is to uh, try and get through the other three bosses first. Game. Game. I'm supposed to say game. Game. Game! I guess you have to break it up a little bit. Game. Game. The commentary for this extra is just going to be game. I mean, the good thing is Krakow moves, like, really fast in this mode. Game! Game. So even when Krakow does things, like, that are not right, like, it's not nearly as bad as in the normal mode where you're, like, sitting there for, like... You can check Twitter while he's using that beam attack or the lightning bolt or something like that. Game! There we go. And Kirby's on the other side of this. This is kind of dangerous because one Gordo hit and I'm done. If I accidentally jump into Whipsy Woods' mouth, that's also two points of damage. And that apple hit the Gordo, because of course it did. to redo the entire section if you take a death. So we're going to do that. I think that's like the only coconut in extra mode that does not fall down. Spikes again. Three points of damage. So don't want anything to do with them. Don't kill at the top of the screen. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, so King DDD can be very evil, so let's see what happens. That's Kirby's Dream Land. Thanks for the GGs. This is extra mode, of course, too, which is uh, the hard mode. So DDD just moves really fast. Everything tries to kill you. Uh, this is just a game I... I feel like I've been speedrunning this game since the 90s for various reasons. Because uh, I knew I had 15 minutes to get to the bus stop. And, uh, well, here we are. 
Enjoy this game. What's up, Solid Hex? I know the tape's still rolling, but yes, that will probably be a SGDQ submission video. Love this credits music, though. Yeah, it's only five stages. It's a short game. It is a Game Boy game, too. Uh, but this game's just fun. Uh, you kind of come in... It, because the mechanics are so simple, and because Kirby just crashes through every enemy, it's just... it's good. You come in, you eat an enemy, you spit out an enemy, you keep going. Uh, there's a couple of weird things like the mint leaf and the chili powder, and you, you just go. Uh, there's no jet, there's no beam like in all the other games. We're just kind of like, they're, they're cool. They're good things. But, I mean, base Kirby. It's like, it's like the Buster only, right? Because I play too many Mega Man games. So it managed to be PB2 because talking with people, we got into a discussion of I should get sub-15 before I even talk to people about doing a race, so whatever. Here we go. Force Buster only. Yeah, kind of. See, Bronto Burt is the original one. And they actually put the extra ending in here for extra mode, which is cool. Two-Face? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, Kirby's Dreamland. I also love the legend that uh, this game was originally supposed to have some other character in it, and then they just said Kirby was like the stand-in. It was like, we all like Kirby, let's go. Kabula! There you go. It wasn't Kaboozle and it wasn't Kabuli, it's Kabula. There's a lot of polish that needs to go on this run. You can probably see bits of it. There's a lot of RNG that was hurting me too. Little bits in like the green greens too. This could have easily been... I'm gonna go with the safe gamble of sub 1420 if I wasn't like shooting apples into bursts and into Gordos. Uh, your record in this category is an insane 1047. So this run still has a little bit... No, wait, hang on. It's an 11.09. Speedrun.com loads weird sometimes when you use the back button. And it claims it's showing a leaderboard. It's not. But, uh, yeah. This game, like, once you really start playing a lot, the time does drop. Uh, there's a reason there's a minus 119 down there. It's not from, like, intense, intense grind. It's from... Uh, knowing the game, especially on normal mode, extra mode, of course, you're playing on hard, so everything's a little more insane. And the more you play it, the better your time gets. It's like anything else. Enemy called Boomer. Oh, man. You're, I'm getting closer and closer to being said Boomer at a GDQ. I'm sure somebody is, uh, I don't know, Boomer is a generational thing. I'm sure there's somebody who's over 40. But that has no place in a marathon commentary. <laughs> Old man cab. All right, that's that. Add stream marker.